In this video, we're going to look at the 2023 Mathematics Paper 2, uh, question 4 for internal candidates. And this question was based on construction. So, to answer this question, you are going to require a ruler, a protractor, a sharp pencil, and an eraser. And finally, you require a compass. So, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, hit a like button, comment, and share. All right, the first question says, construct a trapezium ABCD in which AB is 10 centimeters, BC is 8 centimeters, and AD is 7 centimeters. Angle ABC is 60 degrees, and angle BAD is 90 degrees. So now, what is the first step that you are supposed to do? The first thing that you are supposed to do is to draw the line AB, which is 10 centimeters. So we are going to draw a line AB, which is 10 centimeters using a ruler. So 10 centimeters is here from zero. A lot of students make mistakes. They usually start from one. So when taking measurements, you always start from zero. So we're going to take measurements from zero to where 10 centimeters here is here. And make sure that your ruler is in centimeters. Okay, so let's just draw this line AB up to 10 centimeters here. All right, so this is the line AB. So you label it A. B, and then you indicate that it's 10 centi centimeters. The next thing that you're going to do is to draw the line BC, which is 8 centimeters. All right, so with this one, what you're going to do is you're going to use a compass to collect the measurements. So collect the measurements because we've been told that BC is eight centimeters so we'll collect measurements using the compass from the ruler so this is eight centimeters again you measure from zero up to eight okay so because they are saying bc so c is somewhere here so what you're going to do you're going to put the compass point at b and then draw a faint arc like this okay so meaning this is uh, the possible positions where c is c can be here here there or anywhere along this arc because this arc is eight centimeters all right next they are saying ad is seven centimeters so ad is seven centimeters so you also collect from zero collect measurements on the ruler using a compass seven centimeters so this is seven centimeters so because they are saying a d so I mean a d d is, must be somewhere up here okay so with the measurements that you've collected you are going to put your compass point at a again draw a faint arc like this so this is the position of d all right, now how are we going to locate the actual positions of, of C and D using these arcs? So what we are going to help us locate the actual positions is the angle. Because when you go back to the question, the question says angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. Where Up to where C is, the angle is uh, 60 degrees. So... You get your protractor. So the protractor is very useful. You get your protractor um, and put it at B because the middle letter will always indicate the corner or the vertex at which the angle is. So if they say A, B, C, it means that the middle letter, which is B, that's where the angle is. And they, are, they have said the angle is 60 degrees. So now note this. When you look at the line AB, if you wanted to find, to, to measure an angle 
at A, which is on the left hand side, you are going to use the inside numbers, the protractors, two numbers. So if the angle you are measuring is on the left of the line, you are going to use the inside numbers to measure the angle. But in our case, the angle is on the right. So if the angle is on the right, it means you are going to use the outside numbers to measure the angle. All right. So with that in mind, this is also how you measure using a, a protractor. Uh, there's this line that is 90 degrees, this line. And there's a point here. So make sure that this point here is exactly at this point B here. And also make sure that this horizontal line of, of the protractor is in line with the line that you've drawn. Okay, so you're going to do this. Okay, make sure that it, the, this point is here, like this. Then because the angle we are measuring is on the right, we are going to use the outside numbers and you, the angle we are looking for is a 60 degrees. So 0, 60 is here. We are using the outside numbers, outside degrees. So 60 is here. Put a dot there. After putting a dot, this so this is a dot, get a ruler, then join the point, join the point B to the arc passing through the point that you've uh, made here to indicate that it's 90 degrees, it's, it's 60 degrees. So make sure you draw a line passing through the point that you've made here and then until that line touches the arc so which means that that's where c is so we start from there touch the arc just touch the arc pass through the point until you reach here at b so this angle here we are being told it's 60 degrees and we measured it's 60 degrees indicate it like this Again, because they said BC is 8 centimeters, indicate that this is 8 centimeters and this is where C is. Again, they are saying angle BAD, angle BAD, BAD, D is somewhere here along this arc that we made. So angle BAD, the letter that is at the middle is A. So meaning the angle that is here should be 90. They are saying angle BAD is 90 degrees. So again, you get your protractor. Follow the same procedure. Uh, put this point here. Put this point here. And the horizontal line of the protractor must be in line with it. The line that you've drawn. And then 90 degrees is here. So you make another dot here. Okay. Then connect a to this arc passing through this dot to locate where D is. So you draw a line from A passing through the dot that you've, the point that you've made until it touches the arc as well. So you have something like this. And they have said this angle here is 90 degrees. So indicate also that it's 90 degrees. And this also said AD is it? seven centimeters remember this arc is seven centimeters from a and then this is where d is remember this is a trapezium so we just connect cd like this all right if you are with me up to this point it means you are enjoying what i'm doing please subscribe hit the like button comment and share let's reach a thousand likes guys please let's reach a thousand likes okay so this was question 4a then question 4B says measure and write the length CD. CD. So you just get a ruler from 0. So don't start from 1. From 0, measure the length CD from 0. So C is here. So this is 6.1.2. Okay. So question 4B. So you indicate that the length CD, this one, is equal to 6.2 centimeters. All right. But C says, within the trapezium ABCD, 
draw the locus of points which are 2 centimeters from CD. So they want us to draw a locus of point that is 2 centimeters from CD. Where is CD? CD is here. CD. So 2 centimeters from CD. So get your ruler and your compass. Measure 2 centimeters like this. And then it's from CD. So you are going to put your compass point at C and then make an arc like this. Again, move your arc from C to D and do the same. Make an arc like this. So what is this telling you? This is telling you that from the line CD up to here, this is 2 centimeters. Okay? So these arcs have been drawn so that they help us to draw a line within this trapezium, which is 2 centimeters from CD. So draw a line just touching on the top of the arcs within the trapezium. Don't go over because they said within. So this is the line that, uh, th that is 2 centimeters from CD. So you label it as C1. So this is C1. Then the second part of C is saying draw a locus of points which is 9 centimeters from B. 9 centimeters from B. Again, get your ruler and your compass. Measure 9 centimeters from 0 like this. Then... They are saying 9 centimeters from B. So B is here. So you put your compass at B and then make an arc within the trapezium, within this trapezium, not outside. Okay, so within the trapezium. We are just following instructions here. So this arc here. All right. So this is actually CII, -I, which is the second part of question C. So you indicate like that. Then the third part of part C is saying, draw the locus of points which are equidistant from AB and AD. So when you look at uh, the information that we've been given, we're saying AB and AD. You can see that A is found in A, B, and D. A is also found in A, D. So A is on, on the intersection. So meaning, uh, they are talking about this vertex here, this corner here. So because they are saying equidistance, in other words, they just want us to bisect, to draw a line that is going to bisect this angle here. Okay? So to do that, get your compass, open a reasonable distance, any distance, but it should be reasonable like this. Then make an arc here and also make an arc there. We want to bisect this angle. Without changing, move your compass from A and put it on the first arc, this one, and then make another arc like this. Shift your compass point, put it on the second arc, and then draw another arc like this all right so what you are going to do is you are going to draw a line within this trapezium that is going to pass through where these two arcs are in, uh, intersecting or are cutting each other so which means you have bisected this angle okay so Make sure it's passing here where they are bisecting each other, where they are crossing each other. So you draw a line within like this. You indicate that this is C part 3. Then the last one which is D. I want you to pay attention to this because it's just an instruction and understanding. A point E within the trapezium ABCD is such that it is greater than or equal to 2 centimeters 
from CD. So the point F, they are saying it's greater or equal to 2 centimeters from CD. But remember this line here that we drew is 2 centimeters from CD. So E, they are saying it's greater or equal to. So meaning E is not falling on the less part here. E is falling on the greater part, this side. So forget about E found this side. But this side, which is greater than 2 centimeters, greater or equal to 2 centimeters from C, D. Then less than or equal to 9 centimeters from B. Less than or equal to 9 centimeters from B. So B is here. Remember this line is the line that we drew that it's 9 centimeters from B. Now they are saying less than or equal to 9 centimeters from B. So meaning this point E is not falling on the greater part but on the less part. So forget about E being found here. So we have eliminated two areas. We have eliminated this area. E can't be found the, here and E can't be found here. So meaning E can be found here, along here. I mean around here. And near to AD than AB. So where is AD? AD is here. Then AB is here. So they are saying this point E is near AD than AB. So this point, it means that this point is lying here. Because this part, this part is near AD than AB. Okay? So meaning this is where E is lying. Because they are saying locate clearly by shading the region in which E is lying. So it's here. We have established that E is lying here. So now shade nicely. Okay? Shade nicely. Your work must be neat. Your work must be neat. Your work must be neat like this. So this is where E is lying. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you have not watched question 1 to 3, you can just click on the videos that are showing on the screen. And if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, comment, hit the like button and share.